that you and, and, and Governor Romney think that Medicare, which has been a very difficult issue for Republicans for a very long time, and, so, and polls suggest that people almost automatically think Republicans are hostile to Medicare, uh, can be a winning issue for you. How? Absolutely. Because we're the ones who are offering a plan to save Medicare to protect Medicare, to strengthen Medicare. We're the ones who are not raiding Medicare to pay for Obamacare. We're the ones who are repealing President Obama's 15-person bureaucratic board that will put price controls on Medicare that will lead to denied care for current seniors. We're the ones continuing the guarantee of Medicare for people in or near retirement. And you have to reform it for the younger generation in order to make the commitment stick for the current generation. Terrible. President Obama is actually damaging Medicare for current seniors. It's irrefutable. And that's why I think this is a debate we want to have, and that's the debate we're going to win. So that ad attacks President Obama for the um, Medicare savings that are contemplated in Obamacare, estimating it now at over $700 billion. Right. Doesn't your budget also contemplate very major savings from Medicare on something like the same amount? Only President Obama raids $716 billion from the Medicare program. He cut $716 billion from the Medicare program to pay for Obamacare. Right. We don't do that. Well, what do you, what? It, you make savings. How much? More, the point is, we, we, I joined the Romney ticket. And what Mitt Romney is proposing to do is repeal all of Obamacare. I have voted repeatedly in Congress to repeal all of Obamacare, including this cut of $716 billion to pay for Obamacare. So what's very important here, and a lot of seniors don't know this, is that they turned Medicare into a piggy bank to finance Obamacare. The, the Obama campaign thinks it's an achievement that they raided Medicare to pay for Obamacare. You're not saying, though, that you don't contemplate in your budget planning significant savings upwards of $500 billion in Medicare, though, are you? No, what our, I, we can get into complicated baseline issues, um, but that's the current law. So what we do is we keep with the current law in our budget. But it is the case that in the budget that you have passed through the House of Representatives, significant savings of upwards of $500 billion in Medicare. We, don't, planned, we, don't, we do not add cuts to Medicare program in the House budget. We don't take more cuts to Medicare. We simply prevent the rate of Medicare so that those dollars you, go to extending the life of Medicare. And, and, how, and you say those dollars go to extending the life of Medicare. Now, I don't, I'm a little unclear as to how that works. You, you, you make savings to prevent the program from going under? Or what, how, how is this? So here's the, here's the issue. What President Obama is trying to do with his Medicare plan is he's trying to count a dollar twice. He's trying to suggest that these Medicare cuts can help Medicare. It doesn't because he's taking those dollars from Medicare to spend on Obamacare. We prevent that from happening in the House budget. But, but let's be clear here, Britt. I am on the Romney ticket. And what Mitt Romney is proposing is to repeal all of Obamacare. And in, in the House, repeatedly, I have voted with that position. I support that position. I'm pleased to support the position of getting rid of every piece of Obamacare, including the cuts to Medicare, which are used to pay for Obamacare.